hi guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you all are doing great this is me priya sharma a makeup enthusiast and i make makeup related videos on youtube so as you must have read the title today we are going to review the bobby brown highlighter in the shade pink glow and i have used this uh, highlighter for over a year so i think now i will be able to explain and give you a lot more details about the highlighter so keep on watching so let's start with the general information first so this is what the highlighter looks like this is the outer packaging this is very minimalistic it has just bobby brown written over here and at the back there, there is this sticker which has all the information so the sticker says highlighting powders are fragile please handle with care pink glow that is the shade uh, net weight is 0.28 ounces or 8 grams so this is what the highlighter looks like from inside this is the highlighter it has pink and white swirls the mirror is right here the mirror is big enough and it also came with a plastic covering which is the size of this square highlighter to protect it the highlighter has a press button for opening so it opens like this so the highlighter is available on bobby brown india site mintra nika and ajio also the highlighter comes in two sizes the one is this the big size this is 8 grams and it retails for 4250 rupees also the bigger size comes in limited edition packaging the limited edition packagings generally have golden box and have uh, bobby brown written like this and mostly the fronts are of different shades like red purple which is available on nika and it has 7 grams of product and retails for 4250 rupees 4 gram packaging that retails for 2000 rupees the mini highlighter is also available in in form of value set so if you have not used any of the bobby brown product and you want to give it a shot go for the value sets because you get uh, sometimes you get two or three products along with the highlighter so let's see what the company describes the product as so the company says it is a high impact light reflective powder that gives skin shimmering rosy highlights so about the application the company says use dry for a soft glow and use wet for a high impact finish so let's watch the highlighter the highlighter feels very smooth let me swatch it for you oh my god this is so blinding so let's look at the swatch of the highlighter it is super high beam high reflective highlighter it can be built from a very subtle highlight to a very glowy one it is a silver highlight with pink base as you can see as equal amounts of subtleness and glowiness to it i'm tilting my hand you can see the pinkiness on my hand and then as i, I tilt my hand you can see the silver highlight so it has a pink base and has silver glitter particles so now that we are done with the swatch, I will apply the highlighter on my face. So I am putting uh, the highlighter with setting spray on this side of my face. And I am using the dry highlight on this side. And I am using this Morphe M433 brush to apply the highlighter. Look how pretty is this. Giving it a subtle sheen over here. Just subtle highlighting. On this side of my face you can like put it till your blush because it has some pinkiness also to it so it will blend with your blush very beautifully so look at this subtle shine those of you who do not like much of highlighting you can use just this amount or even lesser if you want this gives a very healthy glow to the face looks like my skin just better and glowing so the highlighter has a little fallout as you can see on the boundaries 
it was earlier also when i started the video because i have been using since a very long time and i wanted to show you how the fallout comes on the boundaries so i have not cleaned it so the fallout comes over here after a few uses and if you don't uh, like wipe it regularly the fallout collects over the boundaries and also uh, when you use it continuously you see the scratchiness over here in the middle uh, i use my highlighter from the middle most of the times so it has this scratchiness over here when the top layer of the highlighter removes it starts looking like this even though it is not a major problem or anything the highlighter is working fine still but i just wanted to mention this little detail over here so let's put the highlight on the side of my face along with the setting spray it is better to use a setting spray when you have matte base or more powders on your face so let's start with it i am using the mac fix plus in lavender and i am just using the same brush that i used morphe m433 and just putting fix plus on my brush and using it it has been my personal experience also i am a highlighter lover i just love highlight and i always put setting spray and then use it because i like a lot of highlight so i put a lot of amount on my face and then it becomes powdery and looks powdery so it is better to use a setting spray spray along with it look at the highlights so beaming so pretty this is a very buildable and a very versatile highlighter if you want just a subtle glam you can go for the side just use it dry along with the brush if you want that high shine highlight go for this side use a setting spray and just apply the highlight on your face blend it with your blush if you want and look how pretty this looks Let me apply a little over here as well under my eyebrows. Just highlighting my overall face with this. Look how beautiful this looks. Just so pretty. So as I can see, it is emphasizing my texture. Even though I do not have a lot of texture on my skin, I majorly have a little pores over here and otherwise my skin is all good but if you're someone who has texture on their skin you can apply small amounts or you can give a pass on this product or you can you know put it over areas where you have less texture applying it dry i would recommend you to use a setting spray still because the highlighter has very tiny glitter particles and they will fall off from where you have applied and it will cover all your cheek in some time so it is better to use a fix plus or any setting spray that you have so that it doesn't fall off and it stays where you have applied it also a very great thing about this highlighter is that it is not getting ashy at any angles if i like look if i move my head in any direction it is not looking ashy at all this is just looking pretty i am in love with this highlighter all over again this is looking so so gorgeous on my skin and let me tell you i am not using anything light right now no high quality lights are being used i am just using normal natural sunlight and i'm shooting this video so you can just guess how pretty this looks and if you have a lot of uh, lights on your face like when you're going to an event a wedding anything and you apply this highlighter how beaming this will look in high lights in very natural light it's, it is looking so good now that we are done with the video let's just sum up all the positives and negatives of this highlighter so let's start with the negatives first so the first point is that the highlighter has glitter particles in it now it is very preferential some people like highlighters with glitters but but others don't so it is up to you if this is a pro or a con for you so personally i like highlighters with glitter and this one has very small uh, particles of glitter in it and when we use a setting spray along with this highlight the glitter particles are not that visible on the face so you can definitely give it a shot so the second point is that the glitter particles become a little messy that is when you apply this highlighter dry without a setting spray the glitter particles goes a little out of hand so the third point is that it is powdery uh, so let me tell you it is not that powdery but when you apply it on a matte base 
it will definitely look powdery because you have a lot of powders on your face so all the three negatives that i have told you till now can be converted into a positive with help of a setting spray just use a setting spray and all these negatives will be gone so the highlighter is for fair to medium skin tones but if you are very fair like you are even fair than me then the pink base might appear like a patch on your skin negative point is that each pan is unique so this is a problem and let me tell you how so the peach and the white are in a swirl so sometimes it is possible that you get a lot of peach and not get a lot of white sometimes you might get a lot of white and not peach and this will change the composition of colors so if you're buying this go at the bobby brown store or at nika look at the highlighter and then buy it it is emphasizing my texture even though i do not have a lot of texture on my skin i majorly have a little pores over here and otherwise my skin is all good but if you're someone who has texture on their skin you can apply small amounts or you can give a pass on this past negative is that if you do not take care of the case it starts getting scratches as you you can see these are all scratches on my case so now that we are done with all the negatives let's start with all the positive points and why you should buy this highlighter so starting with first point it is very smooth the texture of the highlighter is very soft and it is very smooth to apply it is not patchy at all so that is the second point it is not patchy so the third point is that it is very buildable you can go from soft glam to a very glamorous high shine highlight on your face that is just up to you when you are going for a day look just want a subtle glam you can use a little bit and when you want a full high beam highlight on your face you can just apply a few layers and it will look as blinding as possible you can make it so the third or the fourth point i've lost the count so the next point is the packaging the packaging even though it it is scratch prone still it looks very luxurious it has a very minimalistic design which looks very pretty next point is the mirror how can you forget the good old mirror the highlighter has a very nice size of mirror and the mini also has a mirror even though the mirror is small but it is still important when you are on the go and you just want to add a little highlight you can always look in the mirror and do it and you do not need a, an extra mirror in your bag this one is enough it is also very handy as it comes in two sizes if you want if you are someone who applies highlighter everywhere you go you can just take the mini size throw it in your bag use it whenever you want because it has a small mirror with the mini as well so it is very handy not getting ashy at any angles if i like look if i move my head in any direction it is not looking ashy at all this last point and very important point is the pigmentation the highlighter has one swipe pigmentation see you do not need a lot of coats you just need one swipe and you are good to go the pigmentation is great as you have seen so yeah this has a very amazing pigmentation so after summing up all the positives and the negatives my verdict on this highlighter is that you should definitely try this highlighter if you want a subtle or a very high beam highlighter this is the one it gives both in just one product if you are planning to splurge on luxury products or want to invest in a good highlighter go for this one if you do not want to splurge this much you can always go for the mini size that is also very pretty also has a mirror in it the highlighter from the packaging to the product is excellent thank you for watching my video and if you like the video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel and also do let me know if you want me to review any other product